Okay guys, this is Shirag Dewan. He's the CEO and founder of AeroCorp. Hey Shirag, how's it going? Thank you, Grant, for having me. So I understand that after seeing Iron Man and specifically the Jarvis system, that you started AeroCorp immediately. Is that right? Yes, it is true. I've always been intrigued by the character Jarvis in the Iron Man movies. And one day while watching Iron Man, it just struck me. Why don't I create a Jarvis for myself? And that's when it all began. That's awesome. Now the current state of the art of home automation is very reactive. You talk the system and, and it does something in response to you. But do you think that your system is going to be more, more proactive, more intuitive, more like a true AI? Well, that's exactly what we are trying to do. So currently the operating systems that we have, a normal user would use the operating system to help him create a PowerPoint presentation for say his work. But what we want Fios to do for the user is to create the entire presentation for the user, automating human life. That's the motor that we believe in. Yeah, sure. Now, how big is your team? And how long do you think it'll be before we start seeing your technology integrated into everyday life? Well, currently we are a team of seven. However, we have many developers from around the world who collaborate with us occasionally. We believe that we'll have an early beta version of yours by the end of 2016. And hopefully by mid 2017, we'll be out in the market. Now, there are already all kinds of operating systems for uh, desktop computers, smartphones, portable devices. What is it about your operating system that's different from all of these? Yes, that is true. There are a lot many different kinds of operating systems for laptops, desktops, and mobile phones. But the main feature that we want to integrate within an operating system is a personal assistant system. Now, there are different kinds of personal assistant systems that we do have seen in the past within our mobile phones, but they all have limited functionalities. We want Fios to be as powerful as the user who is sitting in front of a system. Rather than the user working on the system, we want Fios to work for the user. So I've had a chance to look at the video and your Jarvis screen just looks like a regular desktop. What is it that's going on behind the scenes there? What makes it different? To answer the question fully, I would require at least four hours and hundreds of whiteboards. But the main difference between an AI-based operating system and a normal operating system is that the AI core functionalities are embedded in the main kernel of the OS. Now, kernel is the part that processes the user input and connects the software connects the computer to the hardware. So consider it as a bridge between the co so computer's hardware and the software. And the artificial intelligence program is directly in contact with the kernel itself. The main reason for doing that is so that the PA system can have all the functionalities that a normal root user, which is the super user, would have. What sort of hardware is going to be required to run the new OS? Anything super crazy or special? From the day we started, we had one goal in mind. Every person who has a system should be able to use Fios. That's why we created the architecture of the operating system in such a way that any person who has an i3 processor, 4 gigs of RAM, 500 GB hard disk, a mouse, a keyboard, a webcam, a mic, and a graphic card can use Fios on their own systems without having the trouble of buying a new hardware. So in Iron Man, Tony Stark talks to Jarvis and gets suggestions from him, uh, in addition to doing you know, all his home automation. Are we going to start to see that sort of human-like behavior in AI systems? Human behavior is expected from artificial intelligence. Maybe not from the first generation of artificial intelligence, but definitely from the second generation of AI. Like AI, us humans, we do learn and improve ourselves as we start to develop more AI applications and we come to know the exact potential that AI holds. We are yet to see how powerful AI can be and how beneficial or disastrous its results can be in the near future. Now, do you have some sort of voice recognition interface that, that you wrote? 
I mean, how do you interact with the system in your home? No, currently we are relying on some third party voice recognition engines, but we do have the plan of creating our own engine soon. What we believe is that the user would be carrying a mic at all times so that he or she would be able to communicate with the operating system who is internally connected with the home automation system. A lot of experts are scared of AI or they, they warn people about the dangers of AI. How do you feel about it? Artificial intelligence has been a hot topic for quite some time now and we've all come across various posts from industry experts warning us about the dangers of artificial intelligence in the near future. But I strongly believe that it's too early to determine whether artificial intelligence will be harmful or beneficial to the mankind. It can either be Jarvis or like Ultron. What will be still too yet to be decided. Definitely. Well, thank you.